so as the temperatures are soaring, there's more and more flesh on show. Uh, but is it right to be showing off so much of ourselves? Well, columnist Yasmin Alibi Brown doesn't seem to think so and says scores of women are dressing more provocatively than street walkers touting for business and should cover up. Well, she's here now uh, and she joins us this morning along with Lady Nadia Essex from the reality show Celebs Go Dating, who says women should be able to wear what they like. That is strong words, Yasmin. I know, but, you know, it was a long piece and I, I'm not a prude. I was just talking about being a bit more prudent. Mm. I do, I mean, listen, in 76, I'm old enough to have been here then, and I was as bad mm. or as free as well. In that heatwave well. back then. Back, yeah, <laughs> I wore my hot pants, I did it all. And I remember my mother saying to me, this is, if you, do you ever think, is this good for you? Is it good, better for men that you're dressing like this? Who is it pleasing? And I used to, of course, fight back and fight back. It's just made me think there are some pretty extraordinary levels of undress. I'm of the belief that when you start telling women what to wear in order to stop, for example, sexual assaults or to cover up in terms of leering and leching, then what you do is you make them more vulnerable because the women then that, that dress provocatively are fair game to predators. Our clothes give messages. And you know, there's a lot of research now about self-objectification -object by women. In, in, in America in particular, there's been a vast amount of research mm. when women are self-objectifying, mm -hmm. it, it has an, an impact on their lives, on their inner selves. Yeah, look so at I'm Kim Kardashian, it's had a great impact on her life. Yeah, She's but, a billionaire. It, you yeah, know, but, for some people, you know, it's, it's, they can it's, monetize it and make a career out of it. Mind but, you, is that what you're telling youngsters then? That to behave like Kim Kardashian, you'll become a billionaire because she's an extraordinary example of it, of a woman that's controlled herself, you know, and her business life very, very and carefully. Self and self-objectified. You have to... For me, it's about supporting women's choices. Would I like to have the money Kim Kardashian has? Yes. Would I get as naked as she gets? Probably not. But she feels empowered. And who am I, or you, to tell her to cover up? Nobody it... wants to tell women to cover up. No. But, but is there a responsibility, you know, that you For give... What? For instance, when you're talking... Well, you know, uh, my daughter's coming up to being a teenager now, and I think I would be like you and say, wear what you like. But on the other hand, as a mum who's worried about her, I think, oh... Is she making herself vulnerable? It's also, but it's oh, we, are more than, we, are, we are more than bodies. What we're saying, and you know, for me, the same thing goes for veiling. Although I have to say, I said in the piece, for the first time ever, I've been wanting to cover up because I find this so so. You've been wanting it, to cover up personally. Yeah, I said it was a joke, but I was saying, you know, I just <laughs> want to withdraw. But I, I do think if you, we, one of the femi one of feminists' biggest battles was to be seen as more than just bodies. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's what I want. At some music festivals this year, mm -hmm. there were young women turning up with just taped um, whatever we... Oh, what am I, am Gaffer, I, am tape. I, Gaffer tape. Gaffer tape. Oh, yeah. Over the tops of their bosoms, yeah. right? That's all they wore. And teeny... I mean... Is that okay? You're going of course to it's okay. Oh, of I course it's not. okay. Yes, yes, yeah, if she feels footage, good, it's of course see, it's okay. We see footage of the 70s when it was all flower power and free love. Yeah. I mean, well, I look back on that and think, wow. I mean, uh, what, what, I that's think... relatively modest compared to what we were seeing then. No, no, no. It, it, it was horrible, but it wasn't as, as it is now. I mean, I think in public buildings especially, and look, mm. yeah, but she, I not completely going into a public building this with is part of out. me becoming old. <laughs> I completely accept it, but I don't think it is just that. Having looked at the research on the, the impact it has when women think of themselves in this way, it impacts them. But and I I'm think complete... we have to empower women to know I... that they can, they, if they want to put glitter on their boobs and go out like that, it's OK. Well, and I don't safe. think it is. And if they... But if... I don't think it is. Well, why? I, I don't think it is. I think you're giving a message about yourself. And yeah, what, in, in you like privacy, to have fun? In a privacy of a private party, whatever. I don't think the Kardashians, Kardash I can't Kardashians, say, yeah. um, are role models in any sense, well, I actually, don't for they FEMA. Any sense. Be, so. Any sense. 
But I do see but, where but, you're coming from but because woman, I was there then. But a woman, so you're saying a woman entrepreneur who, you know, had, like, you never, you've never seen the Kardashians fall out of a club, you've never seen them, like, drunk, you know, they've never been in a drug scandal, they own, you know, a billion-dollar empire, they, she's just got a woman Built out of prison. Built on what? Built on what? But, what but, wise but, but, words? What it, but what does it matter? <laughs> she's just got a woman out of prison based on going oh, to the come White on. House. Like, come you can't, you can't say she's not a role model. If more women were empowered to be as business-minded no. as Kim Kardashian, mm. maybe the world would be a better no, no. place. It's all about the body. I and think quite okay, a lot. She's no, it's not. Fame. We've had quite she's a lot of messages, haven't we, Charlotte? Yeah, we have. I have to say, a lot of people are saying you should just be able to wear what you want. Emma says it shouldn't matter what a person wears on a night out. It's not an invitation. Damien exactly. says, I thought it was about embracing yourself and not letting others dictate your choice. I'm not. I'm in a minority, but I don't think I am, because the responses <laughs> to the piece have been very interesting. Yeah, very, the, very interesting, who, actually. If the readers are of a similar ilk, then, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yasmin and Nadia, thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nadia, uh, For coming in for us as well.